Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Superpower User. My name is Stanley and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a quick mod for my desktop here where I'm gonna be replacing the front panel covers with a acrylic window. So let's see how it goes. Now, a few weeks back, I actually completed this Threadripper uh, build that I've got here with 3960X 24 core CPU in the Case Labs TH10 8 case. Now, in the back of my mind, I've always wanted to have the front of this case to be transparent so that you can see through the entire case. Uh, right now, it's basically a full front solid black back and it's not very interesting. So right before Case Labs ended up going bankrupt, they released a few prototypes of the SMA case where they had the full window front mod or whatever. There's a few prototypes and a few actually sold, but unfortunately there was never this option for the TH10A. So uh, what I plan on doing is basically using this piece of acrylic and you know, taping it down or gluing it down so that I've got a clear front. Now, I actually went to Home Depot and picked up this piece of acrylic. I had totally planned on cutting it myself, but apparently when you purchase acrylic at Home Depot, they have a service where they cut it for you. So I gave them the exact measurements that I needed for this, and I'm just gonna be, well, what the plan is, is I'm gonna be taping this down, and it's gonna look like this. Uh, the acrylic is soft, and uh, this panel right here is a little bit flexible as well, so I think taping is probably the best option here. And the tape that I'm going to be using, or the double-sided tape I'm going to be using is the 3M300 LSE. Uh, this is supposed to be some kind of acrylic-based tape that's really well for binding plastics or, and stuff together, so we'll give it a try. Um, it's going to have its work cut out for it because I'm going to be trying to tape acrylic to powder-coated aluminum. So uh, I'm going to be removing the front panels and then taping this down and then we'll see how it looks. So uh, enough talking, let's just get to working.
out. That looks amazing. Uh, that was actually a little too simple, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I see, check this out. The acrylic tape that you see here. Oh man, this stuff is tacky. This stuff is really, really sticky. I think I can already totally recommend this stuff because as soon as it's stuck to the metal, and then as soon as the acrylic sticks on there, just check this out. Hang on, hang on, you gotta see this. See that right there? That is not gonna be letting go. So uh, I think this is pretty much done. All right, so in terms of the front panel, this is pretty much already done. All I need to do is to get this thing on. Now, there is one last adjustment I need to make, which is the Aquero, which I need to push this back a little bit and readjust the thickness so that it could sit behind the acrylic and uh, not interfere with the plastic. This looks, this looks so good. Oh my God. I should have done this years ago. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. And it looks factory too. Oh man. I'm, I'm so excited right now. This thing looks so good. Oh. Oh man, that was probably one of the easiest mods I've ever done. That looks so good. I mean, <laughs> it speaks for itself. So, oh my goodness. Um, so, basically, this right here, this 300 LSE uh, double sided acrylic tape, this thing is amazing. Um, if you go on Amazon, you can see that it's a five star rating or like a four and a half or 4.7 star rating or whatever. This stuff is really, really tacky and really strong. And as soon as that acrylic touched the tape, it wasn't gonna come off. And I have absolutely no doubt that that's gonna stay up there forever. So this, don't just use any double-sided tape. This is actually very thin and uh, this is probably the ideal stuff. So uh, if you ever need to attach anything acrylic together, acrylic to metal, this stuff is, this stuff is the stuff. So again, I'll make sure to link in the description down below. Now. Mm, what else? All that's left is some glamour shots. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you guys found this useful. I certainly am so happy that I did this. I'll catch you in the next one.